What's up guys, Fear Resin here, and today I'm coming at you with some Advanced Warfare, but today is not about AW. Today we're going to be talking about a topic that I've been talking about for a long time, and it's going to get closer to the date. You guess, guess it by the title, I mean Black Ops 3. We're days away from the launch, and um, I'm going to be getting it <laughs> a couple hours early. Uh, at least like two or three hours early um, because where I'm from in Texas uh, there's, a, there's a GameStop that's where I pre-ordered it from obviously but um they're doing this thing a midnight release but instead of releasing it at midnight they're gonna re they're gonna let people in around I want to say he told me 10 I think I, I, don't know. I think yeah I think it was 10 but oh wow it was horrible right there um but anyways yeah he's He's gonna let everybody in at 10, so everybody that pre-ordered it and came for the midnight release will get it right there. But other than that, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about what you wanted, what you wanted to see first, like what video you wanted me to make first on the, on Black Ops 3. Um, I know I haven't posted in a while and for certain reasons, obviously cool and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I want to, I for sure, for sure, I want to do a walkthrough, and I want to finish the walkthrough, but I don't know whether to do it solo, or if I should do it with, uh, another person, because you know how they have co-op and different teams on Black Ops 3 now, so, if I do do co-op, um, I know one person that I will play with, but it's because it's kind of hard to have people who are consistent who like you know you know they're gonna be playing and you know that they're gonna wanna uh, record the video um but other than that uh I think I wanna say I wanna plan to do a um zombies video first to put that out just to get that out of the way um I don't know, I'll maybe play with my brother or something. And then the multiplayer, obviously, because that's a huge part of Black Ops 3, the multiplayer. And I want to bring you guys content. I want to bring you guys a new map, even maps that we haven't seen yet. I mean, we still know about a couple maps. We know about the maps from the beta, uh, which was, I believe, like three, three or four maps. And then um, they had a stream a Black Ops 3 stream where they showed us, I think, I think it was an eSports stream, but they showed us three other maps, and the first one I didn't get to ca catch it, um, it was kind of like a train station, um, it was weird, but it was pretty cool, I, I like, I like the, the layout and everything for it, it looked pretty cool, uh, you can go off the edge of the map, because there's, it's like surrounded by water, so that's cool, um, there's a bunch of flank paths, obviously, I mean, I'm pretty sure there are in all the maps, considering a new movement system, but another one that we got to take a look at was Redwood, and this map is probably my second on the list that I'm most excited about. First would be Nuketown, obviously, because Nuketown is my all-time favorite map um, to play anything on. Look at this guy. I can't get up there. What the fuck? Hold on. I, why can't I? There we go. I just suck. Okay. Oh yeah, the black girl. Okay, anyways. Um, back to what I was saying. Okay, um, anyways. Redwood, second on my list. I mean, the design, the layout, and just the idea of having a map, an actual um, location on, like in the real world, um, especially California, the Redwood, like that's, that's something I, I personally, I would wa I would have wanted. Uh, to make them a map out of, for them to make a map out of, I can't talk to them, sorry guys, but, yeah, we, I, we've just been waiting for such a diverse map, and, I mean, there's been so many great maps uh, along the Call of Duty line, oh, that dude is shit, oh, lag, lag, what the fuck is going on, and, I don't know, Redwood, just, seems, it just really caught my attention when they, when they were talking about the sky bridges, and, how they have a major flank path uh, along the along the map, and 
I was saying that this map is so diverse and so mature that there's not going to be one spot that everyone's going to particularly go to because it's like the war zone. It's going to be all over the map. It's going to be wars and tons of gunfights everywhere and it's going to be awesome. And I absolutely cannot wait. But we have two. Two more days. It's actually three. But like I said, that may not be And if you guys want, I'll actually um, like make a video of multiplayer of the zombies as soon as I get it. As soon as I get it, come home, I just turn it on and make a video. And post that shit. It'll be a late night post. You guys want that? A late night Black Ops 3 post? That'd be cool. Another thing I want to do is... Um, Actually, you guys let me know because there's a new mode that they added or they announced in like the campaign which is called Nightmare Mode. And basically what that is is that once you complete the campaign, I, I want to say it's on any difficulty. But once you complete the campaign, you unlock a mode and it's called Nightmare Mode. And basically all this does is it turns all the enemies in the campaign, you know, the cybernetic uh, humans and like the robots. Uh, it turns them all into uh, zombies. So instead of fighting like you know the humanoids and the robots, you're fighting zombies, which is I thought was pretty cool. I mean, I want to try that out. So let me let me guys know if you want to see that um, because for sure I'm gonna do the campaign walkthrough. But you guys should let me know if you want to see the nightmare campaign walkthrough just to see what that's like, or maybe just a video on it, just you know to show you guys what it's like or whatever. Um. But yeah, there's so much things coming out of Black Ops 3. I mean, I cannot wait for this game to come out. Uh, I can't wait to, cannot wait to try, try the gunsmith uh, to customize my character how I want it. But yeah, like I was saying, um, I can't really decide what my favorite, you know, thing on there is really because everything matches each other. You know, the campaign matches the zombies because the campaign is so diverse and they say it's supposed to be the best campaign of the Call of Duty C series yet. And that matches the zombies because it has co-op also in it, which they've never had in a Call of Duty campaign, which is also awesome. So, you know, I'm excited to see that, obviously. And multiplayer just adds on to all of that. I mean, you already have all of that. And multiplayer even adds on to it more with paint shop, gunsmith, Taunts and gestures, you know, the customization of your character, the customization of your gun. Uh, apparently, they're supposed to be having uh, different uh, attachment variants instead of, like, instead of having, like, in Advanced Warfare, for instance, you would get uh, actually the whole weapon variant. And here, they they're only getting attachment variant. Attachment variant. So basically, all that means is that the attachments are gonna do. I don't know if the attachments are gonna act the same or is it just gonna be like you know uh, a visual kind of thing but these variants are gonna look all each attachment is gonna look different so you can customize your gun how you want it, you know and it's just I don't know it's just so awesome just all this in one game compacted and yet we're still at launch I mean imagine what else they're gonna do with this series or with this game actually series with the game i mean what is the download content be like i cannot I, I, guys i cannot actually anyway i love the beta uh i play when i played the beta i made a video and i freaking i fell in love with the beta a lot of people were skeptical i don't really understand why but a lot of people were really you know were like eh, i don't know if i'm gonna buy it but they never tried the beta how do you know a product good if you don't try it? I don't understand these people when they say that. But, um, other than that, that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about. I just wanted to see what you guys wanted from Black Ops 3. Um, and the campaign, I'm, if I do do the walkthrough, which I am, uh, I'm going to be doing the thing back to back. Because next time, I want to just you know, go through the campaign once, record it all, and just, you know, start editing video after video, you know, determining which one I'm, which one I'm gonna, you know, where I'm gonna edit, um, how long the video's gonna be, and 
and everything like that. But other than that, I mean, guys, get hyped up because we're almost here, guys. We're almost there. And if any of you want to uh, play with me on Black Ops 3, I will link it down in the description. So. Other than that, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all in Black Ops 3.